Okay, lads, welcome to the chapter 5 review part. So, page 74, problem 1. Emma had 9 meters of cloth. She used, to, she used it to make 8 similar pillowcases. How much cloth did Emma use for each pillowcase? Alright, so we draw our, our model. Right, we have a total of 9 meters of cloth. And we know that she used to make it 8 similar pillowcases all right so we they're asking us how much did she use to make one pillowcase how much is one unit very simple you take all cloth divide it into eight units and it becomes one and one over eight meters right that's your answer Emma used one and one over eight meters of cloth for each pillowcase Right, for those who still have problems with the division, right, I remind here. So we need to divide 9 by 8. We can take it one time, and this, is, this will be the remainder, right? One whole and one in remainder. This is how we get this number. All right, problem number two. Uh, Suryati finished the job in three fourths of hour. Mina finished the same job in four fifths of the time Suryati took. So Suryati. Suryati. She did that in three over four of hour, right? Now Mina. She spent less time on that, right? She spent only part of it, only fraction of it, only fraction of what she spent. How do we find a smaller part? What's her name? Mina. How do we find a smaller part of something bigger? We always multiply, right? Four fifths of three fourths of hour, right? <clears throat> and this is so. This is basically off, right? Four fifths, four over five. Four fifths of the three fourths is. Do your math. Three fifths hour right and this is your answer mina took three-fifths of hour to finish the job All right next page page 75 lisa bought three and one-fourth of kilogram of chicken the chicken cost four dollars per kilogram how much did lisa pay for the chicken all right so we have a chicken Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so we have a chicken, three and one over four kilogram, right? And each kilogram cost us four dollars. This is what we do: multiplication. If you do your math, it's gonna be thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. That's your answer. Lisa paid thirteen dollars for the chicken. Okay, second problem on the page seventy-five. Cindy made some fruit punch for her class party. Her friends drank two and three fourths liter of the fruit punch. Cindy then made another one and a half liter of fruit punch. After that, there were there was three and seven over eight liters of fruit punch left. How much fruit punch did Cindy make at first? Okay, so in order to solve this problem, we need to make our total punch, right? So, uh, if we make a total, right? So. This is the amount that Cindy's friends drank, finished, right? This is the amount that left, and this is the amount she prepared again. So the, the amount that her friends drank, we draw it again as a, as a separate block that was kind of like with this arrow, we show that it was removed, right? And it was 2 and 3 over 4 liter, right? Uh, this is the amount of, uh, so this was removed, right? This was the amount that she prepared again, right? Fresh punch, 1 and 1 over 2 liter, okay? So we have this that was left from before, but we know that total left, right, was 3, 7 over 8 liter. Okay, this is our model, and our math becomes very simple. They're asking us, how much was it first? How much was it first? 
right? So in order, in order to find this part first, right? We take this fraction, <coughs> three and seven over eight liter minus this fresh prepared punch, one one over two. Calculate. Sorry, this is minus, right? I should do it like this. So two three over eight liters, right? We take this two three over eight liters. This is this piece, this piece is two, three over eight liters, and we combine it with this piece, which is two and three or four liters. To your math, five, one over eight liters. That's your answer. Cindy made five and one over eight liters of fruit punch at first.